If you haven't been living under a rock for the last couple months, you've seen us running a lot of machine guns and it's not really in the way that a lot of people on YouTube get machine guns. They like to get out and just do mag dumps and things like that. We're not like that. To be honest, we like to run guns and try to learn about them. We like to learn about the platform. Where does it shine? What can we do with these different machine guns? So we got my buddy Paul here. If you're not checking him out, go to Black Iron Gunner on Instagram, pause the video, go give him a follow. Ooh. He's also got a YouTube, so check that out as well. But Paul here and I wanted to answer some questions that I've seen in the past. What about a full auto versus semi-auto? So that's what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna keep it pretty simple. So we're gonna do three, three drills at this point. Maybe we'll throw a fourth in, I don't know. We'll see what happens but we're just gonna run these two particular guns, both in semi-auto and full auto, and then kind of digest what we're seeing. So I'm gonna give you guys a rundown first of what I've got going on here, but one thing I wanted to note is we are an 07, 02 SOT, so we have two converted machine gun lowers. One of them is over here on Paul's particular gun. So first, this is a 12.5 inch 5.56. We've got a Steiner D-Ball A3, a rain micro light. I've got my bipod on here really for no other reason other than I just recently confirmed zero. A Vortex Spark AR 3X magnifier. Both of these guns have Geisley Super Select Fire SOCOM triggers. Awesome triggers. Think of like an SSAE, but an extra position. Why don't you got give them a rundown of what you got going on over here? Yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about my Mark 18 upper. Um, like Jared said, I got a YouTube channel. I did talk about that. But uh, your standard 10.5. Uh, got a full power laser on there, uh, M600 DF, some mod light buttons front for my M600 DF here, and then rear activating my laser, and a KAC foregrip, and then obviously the DD rail, which is pretty cool. Aim point T2, rear iron sight, and radian, and then obviously T8 targets here, uh, SOT lower. Uh, so we're just talking about fire superiority and uh, what we're talking about with full auto. So. I'm cool. actually excited to talk about this. Yeah, this is so much fun. I, I love full autos, and like I said, I. Over the years, I've gotten kind of worn out from people just standing on the line and doing mm. mag dumps. And in this ammo climate, it doesn't make sense to just do mag dumps. So let's just stop talking about it. Let's get into it. We're gonna be at five yards up here. So we'll show you guys, show you guys what we got going on. USPSA targets, they're downrange at five yards. Nothing fancy, some ready up drills starting from a high ready. We're gonna put three rounds in the A zone. I'll go first. We're gonna do it on the timer. I have a shot timer. Do you have a shot timer on you or are we gonna run this? We're on yours. Okay. So again, nothing fancy. Let's just make sure we are hot, good to go. I gotcha. Yep. Do this all professional like. From the high ready? Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. One, four, five. All right. So one, four, five. Shooter ready. To the A zone, correct. Yep, center, A zone. Were you at low ready, high ready, does it matter? Uh, I was high ready. Shooter ready? Ready. Say bye. All right, one, six, one on that one. Let's go down range and check these. We'll mark the hits. So I felt really sloppy on that. And one thing I wanted to note to everybody, this is cold, we actually haven't shot yet today, so. I've got alpha, alpha, and I threw one. It's right on the edge. I'm going to call out Charlie. What right, do we got over here? A, uh, 165, two pretty decent. Um, and one little bit lower here. One of the things I want to mention, um, just another thing to talk about, running a play carrier or something like Jared's running, chest rig, uh, you are going to have a little bit of an issue getting that good uh, stock and shoulder. So it's just something you got to deal with, especially if you're using play carriers and something to train around. Yep, and I'm going to actually connect like we were talking about. Now, I yeah. feel really bad about my group here. <laughs> Very sloppy. But we're going to connect that, and there's a reason we're going to do this, and it's because when we go to select fire, the thought process is we're going to kind of confirm or deny whether or not that select fire is more or less controllable. So let's go back down here. The one thing about this that's always hard for me is getting to full auto, like on yeah. the safety, that goofy yeah. double flip of the safety. So like unnatural. It's so strange. And it's like, it's not that weird, but it is that weird. Here you go. 
Shooter ready. Ready? Stand by. One, six, three. Pretty sure I did four. That's okay. <laughs> All right, one, six, three. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Pretty sure I did like five. One, four, two. So we actually, <laughs> we pretty much did the opposite of each other. Like I had, I think, a one, four, three or something like that. All right, so this, this is really funny for me. So I've got all alphas and look at that group. Yeah. I actually did better with, with select fire versus. You and me both, dude. <laughs> uh, right there. Okay, so now there's not much data that we're actually divulging right here. I mean, an A zone hit at five yards is pretty standard. We're not, you don't really have to compensate for height over bore really. This is a pretty tall box. We're gonna do the head box, same exact thing. Run through these same two drills. Now we have to compensate for that height over bore at this distance, putting three rounds consecutively full auto because we can't control that rate of fire. I think this is gonna be difficult. I think data too would be a lot more measured correctly if we were to do this 20 times. Right. Uh, cold one day and then warm next day. Yep. Um, same gun, same gear, same temperature, but ultimately we don't want to do a four hour video. Yeah, so. and as you guys can tell, we're already losing daylight. I mean, we're going to play with our nods later, but at the same time, we're losing daylight. So we're going to get down here. So let's do, why don't you run it first? Okay. Head box, semi-automatic. Three rounds. Three rounds. Shooter ready. And it, what do you think? High ready, low ready? Uh, let's go low ready this time. Low ready. Got uh, it. Oh, you know what? Just for let's, let's do consistency. All high, all high ready. I like it. All right, shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. That was a one seven three. One point one four split was 0 0.3, 0 0.29. All right. Cool. We'll just hope I have them in the head. <laughs> All right, three rounds. Here we go, stand by. One, six, zero. All right, now my gut says I way overcompensated for that, okay. but let's go around and check. Uh, on one of them I did. Me too. <laughs> so I. We are, we so, are on it today. <laughs> so right here, guys, it's getting dark. I don't know if you can tell. I just grazed the head, so I got an alpha and a bravo there. <laughs> yeah, so I think my first shot, I'm holding about right here. I am running a 193 on a T2 mount um, from Scalar Works, so it is pretty high. I really need to be kind of probably holding about right here, and I was holding about right here. That first round, I think, was right here. I dropped my dot, and that's when I landed too, so... Got to get out and train. Yeah, for sure. And I, I felt it. I felt in my string of fire where I had yeah. a dot up here. Yeah, after I fired my third <laughs> shot, I was like, eh, I hope we don't walk down range and check these out. <laughs> All right, so that'll be, this will be fun. Full auto. So uh, your turn, buddy. Okay. You're, going, you're going first. You're, you're going to suffer first. We're really suffering here, you know, with the, uh, the full auto. It's really hard for us. <laughs> All right, shooter ready. Shooter's ready. This is going to be weird. Again, flipping that safety is a lot harder than you would think. All right, stand by. That was two rounds, I think. 1.39. Okay. All right, let me give it a shot. Again, it's kind of like a weird mental block. I'm hoping I don't have less ammo. All right. It's kind of a weird mental block when you've got to like get that safety all the way around before you push out. Because once I'm here, it's pretty much impossible for me to get that safety around. All right. Shooter ready. Uh, I hope so. Ready. Stand by. Wow. 169. I think that was three, though. That was four. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was four. And again, it felt pretty pretty rough. I, I think... Uh, ooh. Oh, man. So I've got this. Uh, so this was my first one. And I pretty much replicated it. Alpha Bravo and off the target. So I actually did exactly what yeah. I did with semi. How's yours look? I'm holding just way too high. So 
I gotta get a, I gotta, I gotta do this again. Let's do it again. I gotta do this one more Let's time. Let's do it again. Give me one more shot here. I gotta redeem myself. This is just bad. What do they call that mulligan? Yeah. You got one mulligan. <laughs> I've gotta one do mulligan. this again. All right. So I, I think I'm all right because I showed I was consistent. I mean, I'm not happy with that. Yeah. But. Yeah. I, I need. I'm just gonna hold it at the top of the head. And uh, this would be a great time for me to probably hop off the range. Go to the range next week, and we're kite over bore like nonstop. Yeah. That's something you can do. We can always uh, do that tomorrow because we're shooting more content okay. tomorrow. Ready? All right, shooter, ready? Say bye. Is that two again? It was two again. <laughs> You've got these like controlled double taps down. All right, let's check this out. So that was a one point four eight on that. All right, a little better. Only two, but that's okay. We're right there. All right, so this is where I think that we can start seeing where I... Okay, I'm going to give my guess of what's about to happen. So we're going to do a build drill, essentially, at about 15 yards. I think this is where full auto is going to fall apart for me. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. If I have a good support hand grip, I have good fundamentals, I should be able to land it on paper, but we'll see. What do you think? Do you think semi versus full at 15? I think we're going to actually do better than we think. Oh? Well? I think, or you're gonna do real, you know, I think you're gonna do good. <laughs> Let's go down <laughs> and check this out. It's also really hard, I'm noticing, to actually find out like how many rounds you want to shoot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I, I've found with a, a select fire trigger like the SSF SOCOM, if you let, if you pull the trigger and let off, it's two rounds. Like, okay. if you think about it, like, how do I word this? If I try to do what I do with a regular trigger, break the shot, get right back on the wall, okay. it's two rounds. Okay. Every time with these SSF triggers. When I try to do a single shot like that, get back on the wall, it just is always two. But yeah, it's weird. It's definitely different. So let's go right back to here. Got the shot timer. All right, I'm gonna go first on this one. All right. I'm gonna be selfish. We'll do high ready again. And I think I should theoretically have six rounds in my primary. We'll switch out to a mag that only has six rounds for this next video because it's very difficult when you're doing longer strings of fire to know what you're, how many rounds you're putting down range with full auto. All right. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Two, five, three. 2.53. All right. Six rounds A zone, correct? Six rounds center A zone. Okay. All right, shooter ready? I ready? That yep. was two, five, three. Let's see what you do. Stand by. Two point nine four on that one. So let's go check hits. I'm gonna try to do this pretty quick because we're losing daylight. It is getting dark quick. Yeah. I am so ready to throw these bad boys on. <clears throat> All right, uh, what do you got? So I've got alpha, 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 one chart. I don't know what happened there. That's strange. Nice. So that, I'm actually going to write semi-auto on that one because we're getting pretty full here. Look at that group. All right, so I'm decent. Once again, that shoulder to the plate carrier, getting that good uh, stock to shoulder and that pocket's rough. And you can see I'm kind of overcompensating for it and the rounds are coming right, all right? So here's one Charlie, the rest are A's, not too bad. Um, but hey, I'm always wanting to be better, so it is what it is. And that is semi-auto. Nice. Now, the moment Everybody here came to this YouTube channel to wait for. In fact, I'm dumping this mag while we walk back. I'm gonna dump that round. Dude, you just dropped like 98 cents on the ground. I know, I just dropped the round on the ground. Sue me. <laughs> I'll pick it up later. Yeah. <laughs> so again, what we're doing here, we have six rounds in the gun. And the reason why is so we get a guaranteed six rounds, because you guys saw at the beginning there, it's very hard for us to count our rounds. So why don't you uh, hit me off? And we're gonna give this a shot. 
All right. Let me just check my dot now that we're losing light. Light, I'm actually gonna drop that dot down a little bit. Is it bad that I'm just thinking about turning these on? And I just... We're right at that <laughs> point where you could. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to go. Let me Get do it. ready. Ready? Stand by. All right, yeah. I know my fourth round there, I think, threw way off to the right. Okay. There's two, three, one. Two, three, one. Actually, that's pretty consistent. I think I had a two, five, three. So let me ask you this. This is uh, going down right now. If you were had to guess where your rounds are, we'll do the same for me. All right, I'm going to say one complete miss. Okay. Two char uh, three Charlies, two A zone. Okay. So two A zone, three, three Charlies, one miss. And I won't remember that when I walk down. We'll have to watch the video back. That right there is why the press check is important. There's so many people that crap on press checks. Right there, I was about to totally go on this YouTube video and embarrass myself if I wouldn't have press checked my rifle. So Hey, press checks are free. Yes. Uh, good story. I actually had a team leader in the Marine Corps that uh, press checked his rifle all the time before I even heard of press checks on Instagram. So might have meant something for people that hate on them. Yep. All right, here we go. All right, let's burn it down. Let's see what Six happens rounds, here. Eight zone. Shooter ready. Ready? <laughs> I saw the muzzle rise up there. <laughs> All right, I'm calling. But look at the time. 1.64. That's fire superiority. I mean, that is just literally suppressive fire. Not to mention. 164, I'm calling two Alpha, one Charlie, two Delta, or two uh, Mike. Okay. Let's check it out. That really threw me for a loop. Yeah, Compared well, to five yards where at least I was still on paper, back there at 20 was just way off cardboard. We're smiling. Like <laughs> the fact of the matter is we're beaming ear to ear because we've got select fire and we're having a good time. Okay, so a Delta, two Charlie, Alpha, Alpha, one, one, two, three, four, five, one Mike. So Not I was bad. I was very close, very close to my call there. Let me actually uh, draw that down if I can find my... I can't find my marker, so actually here it is. So we've got, ooh. actually, no, there's one down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually landed them all. Well, I'm kind of embarrassed to my 0331 roots because all the machine gunners are gonna be mad at me. One, <laughs> two, two. <laughs> 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 hey, let's let's go back here and just quickly talk about it because we're losing light and I want to shoot with nods. Okay. So guys, we're just going to walk back here real quick. Okay, in our defense, again, zero prep on this. We came out here last minute tonight wanting to shoot this video just to kind of give you guys a teaser. This obviously is not an all-encompassing set of drills. Like this doesn't give you guys much data. I'm just going to kind of close out with a couple thoughts and I think you should too. So one, one thing that I want to get to you guys out of this video is I want to see the day that machine guns like this can be purchased just like a regular firearm. So that's what this video is about, truly, is about educating you guys in a fun, exciting, entertaining way so that you start questioning stuff. Why are these things so regulated? Why can't I just go buy one of these things? Second is there's a lot of myths about full auto. The fact of the matter is it can be extremely effective. Is there a realistic role for a regular citizen to use it? I don't know, it's America. I feel like if you wanna use it, you should be able to use it. But at the end of the day, it's heavily regulated by not only the NFA, but the Hughes Amendment. So anything like this, May 1986 or newer, you can't even possess it without special licensing, technically. But I love these machine guns. I plan on doing a lot more content like this, and we're gonna rely on you guys in the comments to ask us questions about it. But what are your closing thoughts, or what would you say? Yeah, one of the things that bothers me the most, honestly, um, and I keep harping on the military thing, but me going into the military at 18 years old, getting sent over to seas and being able to use a 240 to defend the country, fight for the country in other countries, all right? But you can't have these here. That's wrong to me, all right? I believe that any any person should be able to own these. I don't think there's anything crazy about it between Hollywood's ruined it for us um, and all these other- And politicians in general. Yeah, you know, it's almost like, it. oh, full auto. But really at the end of the day, yeah, they're fun. But I think that they're so overly 
emphasized. Hype, yeah. There's, it's so much hype. It's just another action. Yeah. It's just it's, another way to shoot a gun. And it's really not that crazy. I mean, you shoot a Titman 98 back in 2006. <laughs> I mean, it's basically the same yeah. thing, but with bullets. I mean, really, it's not that cool. Um, and I think that they should be totally legal. And uh, I think we should all have them. So that's just my personal preference. And it's what I think. This is endorsed by TA Targets. Guys, it's getting dark and I'm tired of talking. Let's get naughty. Just in case anybody's ever wondering how we get our TA Target tits. Endorsed by TA Targets. Sponsored by TA Targets. TA Targets.